Make sure the angle right. Good evening, Facebook. Hello, everybody. Pastor James and Pastor Angela coming to you tonight. Pastor Sabrina taking the night off. It's just going to be us tonight and y'all. Praise the Lord. Praise and praise him. All day long. I'm looking forward to tonight. Shirt over there, Pastor James. Oh, yeah, thank you. You got a nice long, too. But God. God. But God. Yeah, I got um, this one here is COVID. See, the eyes is crossed out. Mm -hmm. That E R E covers. Mm -hmm. Cover. Isaiah 53 and 5. I love it. I love it. Mm -hmm. and, and, and I'm loving yours. But God. Mm. They talk about Corona. But God. But God. But God. Covered, covered, covered. Yes. I don't care what it is. Swine flu, a variant flu, coronavirus, Ebola, Ebola E. coli, salmonella, whatever it is, we made it through it all. Amen. But God. Amen. Amen. But God. So, Facebook, hey, just give us a wave or something. That, thank you for watching tonight. Uh, just going to take a few more seconds before we dive into tonight's uh Bible study. Uh, let me switch things up a little bit. Uh, I know no matter where I go, Pastor Dixon, the Spirit will lead her, and we're gonna jump jump in. So let's go ahead on and let's open up in prayer and let's move to the Word. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, we praise you, we love you, we lift you up, we give you glory and honor, we esteem you high. Father God, we thank you tonight that all that you called us to do, you have equipped us to do. Father, now I pray that every eye will be open to see what the Word of God is showing us. Every ear will be anointed to hear what your Word is speaking to us. And every heart will be prepared like good soil, ready to receive a seed of the Word. That seed will be planted, rooted, and grounded. Will grow up and produce a plant. That will produce a tree. That will produce fruit. That will produce harvest. That will last beyond a thousand generations and more. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 You know, um, I want to I, I hear your Holy Spirit. Um, I want to start off. I, I just kind of just want to have a conversation okay. uh, with the people. Because right now in this country, we are all facing something we've never faced before. Mm -hmm. Like I put on Facebook last night, I never thought I'd see a day to come where schools and colleges and universities will be closing and seniors on both mm -hmm. levels. True can't even walk across the stage possibly and receive the diploma, high school diploma, the college degrees because of the coronavirus mm -hmm. and how things are shutting down, restaurants are closing down. Even we as churches mm -hmm. can't have churches normal. And I kind of want to encourage God's people to not lose hope. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I want to read a scripture. Uh, I think I'm, I'm, it's in Galatians 6. Let's, let, let's go to Galatians, the sixth chapter. Uh, Galatians 6. New Testament. It's right after 2 Corinthians for those who may have your Bibles and are following along with us. Galatians 6. And uh, I want to read from verse number 9. Mm -hmm. Galatians 6 and 9, New King James Version says, And let us not go weary while doing good, for in due season we shall reap if we do not lose heart. Mm -hmm. To my brothers and sisters that may have just joined church, just gave your life to Christ, I want to talk to you and tell you, don't let what's happening in this world stop you from believing in God. Amen. Those of us that's been walking with Christ, don't you get discouraged now Amen. and get off course because you may not be able to go to church physically, mm -hmm. but there still is a message being broadcasted 
on Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, still going to broadcast the message. We still need to check on our brothers and sisters. We still need to encourage one another. So I don't want us to grow weary. Mm -hmm. However long they say we got to do this, mm -hmm. I want us to stay faithful to God, stay faithful to the word. I want us to keep encouraging one another. Because as a pastor, my job is to encourage and equip. And those who are watching, I'm going to encourage you not to give up, Amen. not to lose hope, not to lose heart, not to faint mm -hmm. because of what's going on in our country right now. Because our God is still God. He's still saving. He's still healing. He's still delivering. And when we come out of this, He's still got. Amen. Anything He's still you want to say? Good. He's still good. Yes. That's a good word, Pastor James. A very good scripture. Because uh, in this hour and time that we're in, it's uh, the opportunity to get tired, to get weary, to get, you know, feeling uh, lost or bewildered is, is evident. Yes. Because it's a lot at one time. It's, like you said, it's unexpected. Not I have never. No. I'm older than you. Right. I've never seen never anything seen like this. Uh, my daughter, she's a senior this year, and she was, she was, you know, she was a little weary. Yeah. You know, she was a little despondent about not probably not being able to walk across the stage or have her prom. And so I had to encourage her, honey, don't don't get weary. You know, it's not over yet. No, you know, it's and not. that God is still God, and you know, we still got to celebrate the things that the milestones that you've made throughout the throughout the year, these twelve years that you've gone to school, and you know, God is still good, and there's a whole lot of good that's still going on. Yep. You know, so it's a lot. Even the parents, because yeah. you know they've you know spent a lot of money. money. Amen. You know, so it's it's a lot of things that you can get you know get a little weary about in this time. You know, and there's a lot of people that have been affected. I yes. got a coworker that um, she uh, had to come to work, and her child is um, she's uh, disabled, so the caretaker had to go help her mom get uh, food yeah. because of this situation. So she wasn't able to go to the house to help with the baby. Well, she she's a uh, was, but I understand. Get there, so she was getting a little wary about that. Yes, and and that's the thing. People are, people are. You know, um, let's just face some harsh reality. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are people who have died, and may even more people may even pass. But yet, and still, we still got to believe God that their lives, mm -hmm. that they gave their life to Christ, mm -hmm. so they're not dead. This this earth suit may have died, but their spirit is still alive. They got a new suit on now. But I don't want us, those in the church, I don't want us to use this as, as an excuse that when it's all over, oh, I've been watching church now on Facebook or YouTube. No, we need to continue our fellowship. Mm -hmm. We need to continue uh, being with one another. Yeah. You know, I'm in the process right now. You know, the schools are closed to, I don't know how long, but I'm trying to find another place to where we can gather and have church, have fellowship together mm -hmm. because people want that. Yeah. You know, people want that. And I want to encourage you all, please, because I'm, some of these churches are struggling financially mm -hmm. and they need you. Don't stop your local offering, your financial giving to your church just because the doors may be closed. Mm -hmm. Call your pastor, call somebody, say, look, I got my offering. I want to give an offering to so keep the God's business moving. It's important. You know, I'm not bragging, but we plan the Penny on Covenant Christian Center for such a time as this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that we can help the membership if they fall on a hard time. So that when all this is over, we still can go out and find have us a place. I'm looking for an alternative place where I can say, hey, look, I need to do something for the next three months. I'm, I'm, just, I'm just saying, I don't know how long this is going to last. Hey, listen, we need that. I know I need it. Mm -hmm. As the word of God say, I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house. Let us go into the house. It's good home. to be able to go online and listen to it, you know, as an alternative. Right. When there is not fellowship. Right. When it's a time where you can come together with brothers and sisters that believe like you do, that, to me, it gives me strength. Yes. You know, so not to get tired and not to get weary. You know, find uh, uh, get with your uh, your ministries and meet together and continue to do good and continue to help. And when it talks about that part about, um, you know, don't get weary, keep doing good, you know, 
we as the body of Christ, we got to not be like the world. We can't be uh, selfish. Amen. You know, Christ called us to be sacrificial. We have to be giving, not hoarding up all the tissue or all the uh, beans or whatever it is. We, go. we have to be the hands and feet of Jesus right now because you have a lot of elderly people, a lot of people that sit that probably can't get out and get some of the things that we have. So we have to, you know, not be tired of doing good in these times. And also, too, see, this is where your faith come, come alive. Oh, my goodness. All the teachings you heard on faith is about to be tested now. It's being tested in this hour. People are watching you as a Christian to see how you're going to respond to this crisis. So now all the words you don't heard, you got to walk that word out now. Because now is the greatest test of, of the church of Christians in this world. We got to show the world. We got to have smiles on our faces. Mm -hmm. We got to speak with, 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 with positivity. Mm -hmm. We got to encourage others. We got to pray for others. We got to build others up. Mm -hmm. Now all that word that you heard in the past. Yes. Now people are going to see what your conduct and your character is going to be like. That's a great opportunity to let Christ shine. Right about now. Mm -hmm. You know, we can do it because yeah. we, we build ourselves up with most holy faith. We build ourselves up with the Holy Spirit, you know, to be able to pray, you know, and, and be able to commune with God and fellowship with God so that, you know, we too are going through this. Yes. But at the same time, when we're spending time with God, we can, you know, get the power and might of God on us so that we can be able to have our conduct, character, and conversation be a light that's shining in, in this dark time. Plus, too, I'm, I'm going to say something else, too, about this, this, this virus. This virus should cause us all to come together as family. Those in your household, those in church, those in the world. Family. Spend time with your family. Turn that TV off. Talk. Read the Bible. Pray. Play some games. Do something to have fun to take your family mind off of what's going on in the world. If not, if, if the only thing you're watching is the news and they keep talking about this, it's going to wear out your, it, it's going to wear you down as a Christian. Yeah, it's going to bring fear. To yeah, you. it's going to bring fear into your life. Mm -hmm. So now is a time where we demonstrate our faith in God, where, yeah. where, where we demonstrate what we heard in the word, yeah. where we don't grow weary in well-doing, where we keep on encouraging people. Listen, there's some uncertainty in the world. And the world is looking to us. Mm -hmm. This country needs now leaders. I'm not talking about titles. I'm talking about leaders, people who influence other people. Mm -hmm. And now is the greatest time to, for you as a Christian to lead others to Christ, to show them that Jesus Christ is real, mm -hmm. to intel, let them know, hey, everything is going to be all right. We're going to go through this storm, mm -hmm. but we coming out. Let me give you some scripture to back up what I'm saying. Go with me to Psalm 66. As a Christian, you need to know you coming out. As a Christian, you need to encourage other people to seek God and to believe God and actually lead others in the way. Yes. Because I can tell you right now, I know you got the word. If you've been watching Brain Change, you got some word in you that you can encourage other people with. Go to Psalm 66. Let's start at verse number 10. I'm going to start reading the verse 10. It said, For you, O God, have tested us. You have refined us as silver is refined. You brought us into the net. You laid affliction on our backs. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out to rich fulfillment. Mm -hmm. This is a test of your faith. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to tell you that if you get flu-like symptoms, not to go to the doctor. I want you to go to the doctor. Mm -hmm. But I want you to go in faith and believe God that you coming out and that you don't, you're going to test negative for coronavirus. Mm -hmm. But even if you just got the flu, that's all it is. Mm -hmm. It's not going to the next level. Mm -hmm. See, that's testing of your faith right there. Mm -hmm. That you know, they say, we don't want your mind to get in to think that, okay, I'm feeling like this, I must be got the coronavirus. No, you don't, baby. No, no, no. Amen. Because 
the potential in our natural man will take us there in our thoughts because of the fear and because of what's going on. But as a believer, we got to hold on to faith. We got to hold on to what the word of God say, regardless of what we're feeling. Because the enemy always, he can always come in and try to bring doubt, fear, and unbelief. Yes, always. But we got to, as you said, we got to stand on the word of God. Yes, go to the doctor. But while you're on your way, you're standing on the promises of God. You be Look, y'all. I don't know if y'all can see it or not, but I'm just going to do this. This is my scripture for when I get sick. Mm. When I start feeling some ailments, I go and I meditate on Isaiah 53, mm -hmm. verse 5. I read verses 1 through 5. Because mm -hmm. at the end, it said, by his stripes, Ooh, yes. we are healed. Mm -hmm. Jesus wasn't even on the earth yet. Yeah. Hadn't even been crucified mm -hmm. when Isaiah wrote this. Ooh, that's right. But he let me know that by his stripes, because mm -hmm. what came from those stripes? It was that blood. Blood of Jesus. It was the blood, and I'm covered. We're covered, covered. under the blood. Yes, yes. Ooh, I like the way you got that E E R in red. That's yeah, under the blood, covered. Yeah, see, I got COVID. If you know this, C O V I D, but I took out the I and inserted E R E. I made this look like I often work. Put the promise in there. Yeah, I sure did. Oh, praise God. I sure did. I I I made this shirt as soon as I got home from work. Yes. To let them know tonight, oh, I'm doing a special shirt just for Bible study. Man, I'm covered. Man, man. Covered. Mm. I'm co we are covered mm. under the blood. This is only a test. Mm. This is a test of faith. This is a test to see if we as Christians are going to stand up and do what we are called to do. Yes. To be leaders in society when it comes to faith, when it comes to religion, to show others. Mm. Because our faith has to be tested. We got to be refined. And if we never get tested, how can we tell somebody else about the goodness of God? That's yeah, true. That's so true. Mm -hmm. And being transparent about the situation, let you know that was as the scripture says, when we go through the fire. Yes. You know, we're gonna go through through the same thing that everybody else go through. Yes. But we, we know what the end result is, what God yes. promised say. Yes. And that's what we gotta hold on to. God promised, regardless of what it looks like. And a lot of times we say, Well, if I hold on to God's promise and in the end it appears that something happens. Suppose I get sick. Suppose I do die. If I die, I die in Christ. Yeah, amen. I die still trusting and believing God because mm -hmm. it's always better to be with the Lord. Than to be anywhere else. So I am not worried about what happens if or what. I'm going to believe and trust God. And, and, and you know what? I don't even want you to think about dying. I want you to think about I shall live and not die. Amen. Amen. I'm going to believe in the word. I'm going to prosper. I'm coming out of this. Amen. I don't care what happens. Don't stop your trust, your faith in God. Because he said we all got to be refined. That's for you the know? ones that we know we have lost people. Yes. Due to it. Yes. So that's for the naysayers that say, well, you know, we believe in God, but then people still die. So that, you know, it happens. Jesus was the son of God and he died. But he rose again. Amen. So that's not the end. It's not the end. Amen. Coronavirus is not the end, and coronavirus is no new virus. No, we just got a different strength. Because y'all have been on Facebook, y'all have seen the Lysol cans and bottles that says Lysol, you know, whatever. One of, one of the things that it kills, human coronavirus. Mm. Let me talk to y'all that got pets. Your pet can get this virus, and it'll be worse. Oh, really? It didn't say that it killed pet animal coronavirus. It said human. Mm. Be careful with your pets. Mm. I'm just putting that out there. That's a whole other strand. Mm -hmm. But I want the people of God to understand. You Now it's time for you to rise up and be a leader. Yes. It's time for you to speak words to your family, to your co-workers. It's time for you to encourage. It's time for you to let your character, your conduct, and your conversation be that that reflect the good God and mm -hmm. awesome God. Well, the thing about that is, is that when sickness come into the world, that that's that's the result of sin. Yes. That's not a result of the goodness of God. No, it's not. So we have to realize when sickness hit our body and hit somebody that we love or come in the world, we can't blame God for that. And listen, I'm going to take a side point. All y'all that ran out here about toilet paper, I hope you run into this word. And you meditating on this word. Because all the charming, 
the Scott, and the Angel Soft can't save you. Can't save you. Only Jesus can. You're running out of fear. Fear has caused us to do all kind of crazy stuff. Fear has caused us to run out here and empty out stores and not even look out for our brothers and sisters. Oh, yeah. That's a key point right there. Yeah. People taking stuff like they don't lost their mind and not even worried about their brothers and sisters who need toilet paper. And then you're trying to get rich off of it. Mm. Your price guys, and you're gonna get locked up. <laughs> Sheriff Brass on Palm Beach County said his his hotel still open. Mm. He got two, one east and one west. Mm. So you know we need to look out. Isolation that way. Yeah. Cool. But you, you, I mean, acting like it's the end of the world. This is not the end. No. When AIDS came on the scene, people thought it was going to be the end, but we didn't act like this. No. No, this is it. And people are living. Yeah. We don't, act like we don't act like this. We heard coronavirus and people just got scared. That's why I said turn off your TV because the news got you scared. Open, if you're going to watch some, listen to some praise music. Watch somebody, go on YouTube, Google Pastors or whatever. Mm -hmm. Listen to the word so you can build up your mind so your mind can be renewed with something new besides this fear that has attacked this country. Mm -hmm. That's good. They had a guy on the news, he, he had toilet paper. He was giving rolls to anybody who stopped and needed a roll of toilet paper. I said, God bless him. Amen. But we need to be people of faith. And we need to share our faith and show our faith mm -hmm. to a world that's really hurting right now. Mm -hmm. And and that's sharing our faith being meaning share that's sharing the love of God. Yes. Sharing the heart of God. Yes. You know, and, and the power of God is 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 evident when you know somebody is hurting and you can be there to help. Ooh, hold on. Comment. Crystal the core. Hey, long time no see. She said, TV is programmed to program your mind. Mm. That's true, Crystal. Crystal, that's so true. It is. Oh, that's why Pastor James said, be selective about what you hear. Yeah. Amen. That's true. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Another comment. Only those who fear is running wild because they don't know God. Mm. Very good. Very See, good. when you know God, you keep operating as if nothing wrong. Mm hmm Yes, you know something is wrong, but you're not going to let fear, false evidence appearing real, mm -hmm. stop your faith. Amen. You're going to say God is over everything. God got this. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand that the word is more important. And we need to rise up as Christians right now and say, wait a minute, y'all. Mm -hmm. Stop, stop, stop. Mm -hmm. Put a hold on this. Yeah, yeah. Let us pray. Yeah. Let us do what we need to do. They'll be all right. That's my word for them. They'll be all right. I'll call them back. But we need to be leaders right now in this time because somebody, yes, somebody's looking for somebody to stand up and say, you know what? Hold on. Stop. Stop. In the name of Jesus, stop. Let's calm down. Let's pray. Let's seek God. Let's believe God. You know? Amen. I, uh, one of my supervisors came in um, when we were, went to work and after giving us our directives and instructions and everything, she did say, do you mind if we pray? And she prayed. She prayed with power and clarity Amen. and understanding that, you See, know, that what I'm talking power about. knowledge of God, you know, be with everybody and, you know, that fear won't set in and that we'll be strengthened to do what we came to do. And, and that's what we need, you know, because we, especially when you have to leave your home. Yes. At times like this, you have to yes. go. You got the doctors and you got the, the people that's out there, uh, the, the police Ooh. officers. And Hold on, let me say something there. like that. Mm -hmm. Hey, I need y'all to pray for our medical personnel mm -hmm. around this world. The doctors, the nurses, the CNAs, yes. the janitorial staff, the food service staff. I need y'all to pray for people who are working in the hospital. Because mm -hmm. one thing we're not recognizing, they're, they're being affected by this too. Some of them are sick too because they've been treating so many patients yes. with this virus. That's true. 
So we need to stop. Matter of fact, let me start right now. Let us say a prayer for our medical personnel right now. Let us touch on it. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come right, uh, we come right now yes, on the behalf of every doctor and nurse, CNA, yes. uh, custodial staff, uh, food service staff, everyone that's working in the hospitals around these patients with coronavirus. Father, we pray for their safety and their protection. We pray for the blood of Jesus to cover them and keep Jesus. them, that no sickness or disease will come nigh them, neither shall any plague come nigh their dwelling. Father, we ask that you strengthen them as they continue to fight every day, yes. Father, attempting to keep these people alive, Father. Yes, God. Father God, we thank you now for their we job, for their you, diligence, Father. for their diligence, for their vigilance, and, and just doing their job yes. every day without murmuring or complaining. Yes, we God. cover them in the blood of Jesus right now. Amen. 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 Thank y'all for touching and agreeing Amen. Uh, with that because they need it. Yes. They need it. We need to tell them thank you because oh now, God. see, this is the real battle. Hey, is it, if anybody out there, the names that he called, the positions, the jobs, the titles that he called, please give us a thumbs up. We love you. We're praying for you. We appreciate everything that you're doing. Let us know you're out there, okay? Amen. Amen. Um, so, you know, that's 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 what this is all about. Um, you know, God put this on my heart earlier to talk about the word that we heard. You know, and how now with this this disease, this virus, because it's not forever. Mm -hmm. that's, a, that's the thing about it. It don't last forever. Right. It's going to have an end point to where Corona is going to stop. This mm -hmm. virus is going to stop. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's going to end. Mm -hmm. You know, we got all kind of jokes up now to my Mexico telling President Trump, thank you for the wall to keep the virus out of Mexico right. <laughs> or whatever. But in all seriousness, this is a great opportunity for us to look to the hill mm. from which cometh our help. Yes, our help coming from the Lord. The Lord I know we have people out there who don't believe whatever. Hey, God is real. Yes. God is real. He's still saving lives. He's still doing the miraculous. Not every elderly person with this disease is dying mm -hmm. or whatever. Not everybody with a weak immune system is dying. Not every child is dying. That lets you know that the power of God is still working and that the effectual prayer of the righteous availeth much. And we're going to keep oh, praying Lord. and keep believing God yeah. that he's going to keep delivering. He's going to keep performing miracles. Mm -hmm. He's going to keep families jubilee. People are going to keep looking up to him, telling him thank you. We're going to keep praising him. Amen. Amen. It's a great opportunity to worship God. Yes, to it is. To praise God. I mean, a lot yes, of times we get sidetracked. And sometimes these things bring us back to where we should be, you know, that relationship with God. Because, you know, a lot of times, you know, some of us won't move until we get afraid. Yes, so you know? true. But, you know, God is not, he's not the author of confusion nor fear. No, he's you not. Know, he don't bring these kind of things so that you can come and say, oh, God, oh, God, oh, God. He's there prior to and he's there in the midst of it. You know, yes. he's there to take care of us and to love us regardless. When these things come up, yes, it run, it causes us to pray more. It causes us to call a, a individual prayer and corporate prayer and start talking about the love of God more because that's needed. Yes, it is. It's needed. Yes, it is. And, you know, and also keep taking the necessary precautions um, that they're putting out there. You know, make sure, hey, you're washing your hands, you know, you're carrying hand sanitizer with you. Uh, keep doing all that stuff, you know, and just keep doing that. But I, we don't want you to operate in fear. We want you operating in faith. We want you to obey those in authority over us, our governmental uh, authority. But at the same time, listen to the chief authority. Listen to what God is telling you to do and keep following his voice. Um, so that's what I want to say about this tonight. And people of God, I need y'all to do me a favor. Um, I need y'all to step up. I need you on your jobs. If you're still going to work, pray for those that may have to stay home. Pray for those that if they can't work, that God send supply all their need according to his riches and glory through Christ Jesus still. If God allows you to be a blessing to somebody, you bless them. Don't yeah. hesitate. You know, maybe you may only have some food that you can give to them. Hey, if God telling you to do it, give it to them. You may, you know, you may have uh, 20 rolls of toilet paper. God said, take take yeah. this person here, two or three rolls, because they about to be out. Be a blessing and show the love of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. You be the Jesus, because you may be the only Jesus that they see. Amen. You 
You can start right there in your neighborhood. You can yep. start right there in your, you know, your area of influence, you know. See if anybody needs any help. Anybody needs something. You never know. Yeah, you never know. So uh, that's all I got for tonight on that. Uh, it's not a long uh, service tonight, mm -hmm. but we're going to get back. And, hey, listen, um, I'm looking for a place for us to hold uh, church services this Sunday. But in the event that uh, things don't work out, I will be having an uh, online service. Uh, we're going to be doing some stuff online Sunday morning. We're going to be fresh at 930. Um, try to have some singing. And after that, the word and invitation online to come to Christ. We just gonna keep moving until we get back into our location. Also, too, um, we still, next Wednesday, we still on with, um, um, we're still on with our brain change. We're not stopping that. That's going to keep flowing. Nothing's going to stop the word of God from coming forth. So, you know, oh, yeah, I want to let you know that because of this, we did have to cancel our family fun day. And it's not canceled. It's postponed. It's postponed until further notice. But we are going to come back and we are going to do our family fun day. But um, just know we're not taking any unnecessary chances. Because we do believe in healing. I do believe in laying hands on the sick. I believe in the Lord and we're all. And uh, if God tell me, hey, open the floodgates and let in, in many in as, as we can get, that's what I'm going to do. That's just what I'm going to do. I'm going to follow the leading of, of, of his voice. Um, so just know that we love you. Uh, also, you can catch some of the old sermons, the old brain change, the past ones that we did. Go to YouTube, look for Pastor James and Sabrina Wilkinson. Subscribe to our YouTube page, hit the notification button so that when we do stuff and it's, we put it out there, you get notified. The word is there. You got to go back and look for it. Multiple messages on there. I want to thank everybody for being diligent and tuning in with us tonight. Know that we love you and we're praying for you. Praying for you that you continually walk in divine health, divine healing. God's blessing continue to flow upon you. And that you always operate under an open heaven and that he give you the wisdom to do what he has called you to do. Amen. Any final thoughts, Pastor Angela? No, no. That's well, hey, you mind closing this out in prayer? Yeah, I'm glad to do it. All right, y'all. Heavenly Father, we give you praise. We give you honor. We give you glory. We esteem you high. We thank you right now for the blood of Jesus. We thank you for the name of Jesus. We yes, know the Lord. blood of Jesus have not lost its power. His power. We power. know the name of Jesus still have authority and still have power to move and break every chain, remove every yoke, to heal every disease. We thank you right now, Father. We yeah, glorify yeah. you right now, Father. You, we Lord. lift you up right now, Father, above every situation every. and every circumstance. For every heart is heavy, for every heart that might be struggling, every heart that might be tempted to fear yes, and move in doubt. Yes. We stand with we them stand right now. Right we now, lift Father. them up and we strengthen them right now, now in their Lord inner Jesus. man with might and with power through yes. the anointing of Jesus the Christ, God. the love thank of God. We thank you right now in the name of Jesus for healing and delivering the mind, the, the emotions of your people. We thank you right now that their thank minds right are now. stable. Their hearts are not yeah. trembling with fear. We thank, thank you right you now that they're rising up above rising the situation and the circumstances and walking as a light in this dark world. We thank, thank you right you. now for the thank move you. of your Holy Spirit in your this Holy time Spirit. to show yourself strong. We glorify and we praise you and we lift you up, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. Amen, amen. Hey, listen, listen. Uh, I'm going to do something special. I'm going to give a shameless plug uh, to my wife right now. Uh, she has a t-shirt business called Church Chick Tees. Uh, if you would like to get one of these shirts right here that say covered, uh, COVID, but it's covered, uh, go on Church Chick Tees. Let her, let her know. We'll sell it. We'll, we'll mail it to you. Get it out to you. $15 a shirt. Uh, just to let people know, hey, that you're a Christian, that you're not going to let this disease affect you. So uh, go over to Church Chick Tees, DM her on that. Let her know your shirt side that you want one, and she'll tell you how to get payment to it and everything like that. I'm just doing a shameless plug. She didn't even know, but just want to let you know. We'll let it go uh, for the next few days, $15 a shirt. Uh, God bless you, and we love you. Love Good you, guys. Night. See you Sunday. You ever